everyone thank you for joining me here in the truck this morning i hope everybody is well and i hope everybody had a great week at work and i hope everybody's going to stay cool today it's going to be a hot one out there today especially here in the south which is good in the, in the 90s um so reading over ephesians chapter one or i'm sorry ephesians chapter five verses one and two paul is basically extorting the believers to uh Follow God, be followers, be followers of God as dear children. Verse 2 really stood out to me. Uh, in a paraphrase, it's saying that, um, you know, as Christ, walk in love as Christ loved us, and he gave himself for us as a sacrifice and an offering back to God or to God and I got to really thinking about that verse because it's exactly what the gospel is all about that's why we cannot mix our works our well doings with the sacrifice we corrupt the sacrifice if we do that See, Jesus is that perfect sacrifice that needs to be presented back to God by the individual that wants to be saved. Okay? Big difference. If we look at it in, in that perspective, you can see where the truth of Ephesians 2.8.9 really illuminate because... Ephesians 2 8 9 says for by grace are you saved through faith okay we have faith that God provided that perfect sacrifice that offering in that perfect sacrifice for us so we can present it back to him okay so we can present all our sac or all Jesus back to him Jesus is a perfect sacrifice and when we present that sacrifice back to God that's telling him we believe you. We we place our trust in you in your plan of salvation. All right then we become dear children. Okay. Once you're a child of God, you are always a child of God. That's good news. That is good news. When you read that, when you read that, really meditate on that on that verse, Ephesians chapter five, verse two. Because he gave himself for us as a sacrifice in an offering to God that's exactly what we need to do when we hear the gospel if you heard the gospel after you believed right we believe that we have the perfect sacrifice for, to present back to God the sacrifice to Jesus his death his burial and his resurrection that is good news that is good news to shout it from the rooftops that is the gospel of Jesus Christ that's really that verse there for me this one really illuminates Ephesians 2 8 9 it really illuminates uh, 1 Corinthians chapter uh, chapter 15 verses 1 through 4 it really illuminates John 3 16 Okay. Jesus came. I know I'm repeating myself, but we have to get this. Jesus came to provide us a sacrifice as God provided a sacrifice to Isaac on the mountain. Okay. That's a picture of salvation. That's a picture. So when we mix our flesh with that sacrifice repenting of your sins is a work of the flesh water baptism to be saved is a work of the flesh it corrupts the sacrifice it's something that you do let's go back to Ephesians 2 8 9 for by grace are you for by grace are you saved through faith it's not of yourself 
not of yourselves, underline that, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. There's no boasting in heaven, guys. But anyway, it's just some quick thoughts today. Uh, go, go to Ephesians. Please comment in the comments section. Let me know what you see there. And of course, you know, reading in the context, basically, Paul's saying, to quit acting like the unbelievers, in a nutshell, is what he's saying. You know, because we are capable of, of doing all the things that he listed there in our flesh. Our spirit has been made perfect. Our spirit walks in all of God's ways. Okay? So Paul is, is extorting the believers. Quit acting like the unbeliever. Okay? You've been, as becoming saints, you're a saint now. Okay? That's what he's, that's what he's saying. But in verse 2 is a snapshot exactly what the gospel is. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video message. I love you. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.